Send me the weeder man. So I'm gonna do something that's gonna probably pe make people cringe. But I'm gonna take my jeweler file. I've been doing this for several years now. And I'm gonna take this sharp edge off the bottom of the skirt area. It's about a 45 degree angle. I'm just gonna pull it back. That's a sharp edge. You can feel it, and it'll come right off. Just a lot of remnants, edge of casting. I've done it for years. I've seen another gentleman doing it. He does it. So I didn't think I was off my rocker. An older gentleman, when I started doing this, he worked at a steel dealer. And he did it. And you're just going to pull that edge right off. Gives you a nice, look at that, nice clean feel. Actually gives you a different profile. Now these other areas are a little tougher, but I like this file. It's got a nice little tip on it. Nice little tip on it. And I go in there and gently, and same thing with that. I'm just taking that profile off at about a 45 degree angle. And I'm taking it and cleaning it up and knocking that edge off. What a difference. You'll feel the difference. And just pull that edge off. Don't take much. A nice, a nice drool file. If it's, if it's, a nice set, will do a nice job. I just need to get the tip in there, and just pull that edge off. I mean, it makes a huge difference in the feel of it. Again, this is what I do. I was taught to do. I have seen another man doing it, another saw person doing it. Takes very little time, makes feeling different. Um, I'll take the ring off, I'll see how the piston slides in with no lubricant, and I'm telling you, I've had a little bit of difference. It's subtle, but I, I, I know it, because I've been doing it a while. So anyways, I don't want to take up a lot of your time, but this is what I do. This is OEM, brand new, and I still do it. And it's just taking off a, a, a very casting edge. Here's my opinion, too. Maybe you can look at it this way. It's therapeutic, I'm talking to you, and I'm making sure my piston's clean. But what if, what if that thin aluminum, like a can, right, is then melting down. I'm just thinking hypothetically, you know, I'm not, I'm not an engineer. I didn't design these things. And has a little drag on it. All right? It's, it's thinner aluminum is going to have a different melting point. Uh, from when I look online, it's like 1,200 degrees. But if I'm thin, right, I got a leading edge thin, wouldn't I be less? Could I be 200 degrees? Because it's just odd that I see a lot of aluminum dragging over. The saws do run hot. Uh, I do know it's from, a lot of times, it's from a dull chain, right? So maybe I'm just off my rocker. Leave a comment. Tell me, hey, you know, Henry, I don't think you need to do that, but it's been working for me. So I got it. All the leading edges that have a high feeling to it that make my finger touch it, feel it, I have taken it off. I have taken that so ever slight sharp edge off it because it's almost like an uh, aluminum can you can feel it and now it's gone and it's it's not got that possibility to drag any of the ports leave any aluminum behind maybe melt off prematurely any debris left behind maybe it falls off maybe it wears out i don't know but this older gentleman was smart about it so he did it all the time. He did car pistons that way. He would port and polish that stuff. I don't do port and polishing per se, unless this is part of that. I don't know. Um, I just want a nice, clean piston. Look at that edge. That skirt feels nice. Anyways, I've done ramble on for about five minutes. I know you're probably bored of me, but that's what I do. Feel the sharp edges, and I don't know. Maybe it's something you do want to do. Maybe it ain't. But I know I do it. All right, so this 194 slash 193 piston, I know a little bit difference, but I'm working on 193 too. I'm not going to do another video on that too and flood the market. 
I try to keep them down. I will clean this off, blow it down, wash it. But there we go. I'm happy with it. It's got a nice smooth feel to it. It's got a clean. And then I'll see how it does in the, in the cylinder itself. All right, Henry the Weeder Man out. I've exceeded five minutes. I'm sorry I took your time up.